Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To change the lock screen settings for your device, open the settings window and click the personalization button in the middle of the screen to display personalization settings for your device. Then click the lock screen category at the left side of the window. You will see a picture of your current lock screen shown in the preview section to the right. The lock screen is the screen shown when you have locked your account or signed out of Windows. To select the lock screen background, use the background drop-down to select what to show. Your choices include Windows Spotlight, Picture, or Slideshow. Windows Spotlight is not available on Windows 10 Pro, however. If you choose Windows Spotlight, then you will have no additional settings to make. Windows will provide the background automatically. If you select Picture, then select a lock screen picture shown, or click the Browse button to launch an open dialog box that you can use to find a picture, select it, and then click the Choose Picture button. If you choose Slideshow from the background drop-down, select the Slideshow Folder album, or click the Add a Folder button to open a Select Folder dialog box that you can use to select a folder that contains the pictures you want to use for your slideshow. You can remove any existing folders shown in this list by clicking the folder and then clicking the Remove button that appears. You can then click the Advanced Slideshow Settings link to open the Advanced Slideshow Settings window. In this window, you can enable or disable several slideshow settings by clicking the Settings switch for each to set it to either the On or Off positions. The settings that have switches are Include Camera Roll Folders from This PC and OneDrive, only use pictures that fit my screen, play a slideshow when using battery power, and when my PC is inactive, show lock screen instead of turning off my screen. You can choose if and when the screen should be shut off after playing a slideshow by selecting a choice from the Turn Off Screen After Slideshow Has Played drop-down. When finished, click the Back button to return to the lock screen settings page. In the lock screen settings page, note that if either picture or slideshow is selected from the background drop-down, you can enable or disable the get fun facts, tips, tricks, and more on your lock screen setting by clicking or tapping the slider shown to set it to either the on or off position if you're using Windows Home. Towards the bottom of the lock screen settings window, you can select which apps will be allowed to show detailed and quick status notifications. You can select a single app for which you want to show detailed status updates by clicking the app icon under the Choose an app to display detailed status section and then choosing your desired app from the pop-up menu shown. To choose the apps from which you want quick status updates, click an app shown in the Choose apps to show quick status list and then choose an app from the pop-up menu shown. Note that you can also choose the None choice from the pop-up menu to remove an app that's listed. To add an app to an available blank space in this area, click any of the small plus signs in this area to select the app whose information you want to display from the pop-up menu that appears. At the bottom of the lock screen settings, you can click the Screen Timeout Settings link to show the power and sleep settings from the System Settings category. Note that clicking the Back button from this window, however, will return you to the main Settings window. You can also click the Screen Saver Settings link to open the Screen Saver Settings dialog box. A screen saver is an animation that is displayed on screen after a period of inaction occurs so that the desktop image will not be burned into the monitor due to its constant display. Within this dialog box, use the Screen Saver drop-down to pick the screen saver to use and then click the Preview button that appears to the right to see how it will appear. When previewing the screen saver, you can press the escape key on your keyboard or move your mouse pointer to stop the preview. The currently selected screen saver can be adjusted by clicking the settings button. The settings you can change, if any, will vary depending on the screen saver you have selected. Make any selections you would like within the settings dialog box and then click the OK button to return to the screen saver settings dialog box. In the wait box, you can like what you see Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.